What up, people? Kelly Burke, KRB Fitness. Holla at you again. Wanted to uh, do a video on a, uh, what I think is a good topic. And um, that topic is out with the old and in with the new. And basically what that means is, is uh, for example, my background is I'm an ex-football uh, player, track runner, just an ex-athlete, okay? And so my training has always, uh, well, not always, in my younger years been geared towards athletic style training so I would go outdoors I would run steps I'd run heels I would train with the tire you know pulling on my back I would train with the parachute on my back um, you know it was all about speed agility I kept cones in my car wherever I went use jump ropes in between sets in the gym to keep my heart rate up you know I did all this kind of stuff for um, explosiveness you know I would still do cleaning jerks I would do the bench press um, I would only squat a low rep for uh, power and that kind of stuff and um, I would do a lot of running, even when I was in the gym as my warm up. I would go in and run for 25 to 35 minutes as a warm up uh, because I wanted to stay in tip top shape because I was an athlete. Also played arena football um, in my um, early 20s, um, which right then was the decline of my football days and um, after that. But I still trained um, that way afterwards because that's all I knew. Um, and so once I got introduced to bodybuilding, it took me the longest to get out of doing agility work and footwork and speed work and doing those high interval uh, training sessions of running and things like that. I mean, sometimes I would be in the gym, man, and I would do half a chest workout and be like, I'm going to go get back on the treadmill just to see how it feels. And I would go run at uh, a full speed, put the treadmill on the incline of 15 and, you know, at a high speed or sprinting speed and jump on it and run for five minutes, get off of it and go back and finish my workout just because I wanted to challenge myself and uh, try to back it out. Now, the reason I call this video is out with the old and with the new is because once I got into, introduced to bodybuilding and uh, my friend Daryl Jones, the bodybuilder, took me under his wings and began to incorporate bodybuilding style training in my workouts and show me how to become a bodybuilder because that's what I ultimately wanted. I wanted to gain weight. I was about 220 pounds at this height, um, you know, 215 to 220 between that. Uh, very lean, uh, very aesthetic looking, uh, stayed hard, abs all year round, you know, just, just ripped to the core but slim and um, that look was good for me and I liked it but I wanted to be bigger and so he you know began to incorporate different things and show me um, how to change my training style and I still struggle with um, high intensity running and wanting to go in and run every day I remember one day he came in the gym and I was on the trip I mean just dead out sprint like I normally did and um, he looks at me, he said, what are you getting ready for? Are you getting ready to do a show and you ain't telling me? I was like, no, I'm not doing a show. I'm just, you know, just training. And he was like, well, why are you running? I thought you wanted to get swole. I'm like, I do want to get swole. This is just my warm-up. He was like, okay. So he said, man, you need to stop all that running. And so he walks away. I'm like, whatever. You know, so I keep running. He walks away, turns around and comes back and says, I'm serious. You need to get off the treadmill. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and so he turns it back again. I stay on the treadmill thinking like, all right, well, I'll stop running. You know, just cut it back a little bit. Walks up again was like, dude, stop the treadmill. He literally gets on the back of the treadmill and inclines it down and stops it. And was like, you training with me today. Come on. And so from that day forth, this man began to show me bodybuilding. And I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the sport, the training. I mean, it was hard. I only made it. We did legs that first day. I only, got I only did the squat rack and a leg press. And that was it. I threw up during the workout, came back, tried to grab my bag. And like CT said, let's steal your set. That's pretty much what he said. This was back in... Um, you know, the uh, early 2000s, so 2003, 2002, somewhere around there. Uh, before I ever heard CT say that term, he pretty much was telling me, it's still your set. Because I came back and picked up my bag after I puked. And I uh, was like, all right, man, I'm going. He was like, no, you're going to finish this. And, I mean, even in the midst of that, I only got past squatting and leg pressing. So what I'm saying is he taught me how to train geared towards my goals. And my ultimate goal was to be a bodybuilder. So I had to learn how to get the rest of the stuff out of my system, although I love to do it, and it kept me in great shape. Ultimately, I wanted to look. I wanted to look like a bodybuilder. I wanted to walk around and be questioned about me being a bodybuilder. I wanted to walk around and people say, he's a bodybuilder. That, that big guy's a bodybuilder. And I didn't have that look. I had the look of an athlete because that's the way I trained. So that was the old me. Once he began to incorporate these training styles in, I began to grasp the concept of becoming a bodybuilder. And it wasn't overnight, guys. We're talking about a couple of years, man, that I, I, 
I would always revert back to it. I start making some gains, start doing good, and be like, oh, I'm losing abs. Let me go back over here and run hard. And I would go back a month with just running hardcore and playing basketball and all this kind of stuff. And man, it was a struggle for me to get out of it. But ultimately, I started seeing that I was never going to achieve my goals if I didn't start training geared towards my goals. And so once I really focused on it and got it out of my system, then the old went out of the way. Now I train like a bodybuilder. I have been for years now. And I've seen the amazing results in what I'm trying to do. So basically, Basically what I'm saying is, if you're a crossfitter, why are you bodybuilding? Why are you training like a bodybuilder? It doesn't make any sense. You need to go do crossfitting workouts because you're a crossfit guy. If you're a powerlifter, powerlifter or a competitive uh, powerlifter, you're getting pull, getting ready for a push-pull competition, uh, why are you working out with me and doing high reps and you know uh, a, a chest day or a leg day and a back day specifically? No, you need to be training like those lifters do and stop trying to change up your workouts and just focus on what your particular goal is because I know what my goal is to be uh, one of the best bodybuilders that ever lived. It makes no sense for me to go to a boot camp. I had a friend of mine invite me to a boot camp. I used to teach boot camp for years. Had my own boot camp, Camp Kelly. Miss all you guys from the camp too. It was a great experience. Um, but there's no way in H E double hockey sticks, no way in hell, I'm going to go back to doing CrossFit. I mean, to doing boot camp because I incorporated CrossFit style workouts even in my boot camp, and I would have to do them to give examples for the ladies and the guys that was doing them. I did a lot of running, lost a lot of weight. I don't want to do that anymore. It's been no sense because I have certain goals that I'm trying to achieve. So if you're a power lifter, why would you be training like me? You see what I'm saying? Why would you be wasting your time trying to train like me when you should be working towards your goals or whatever you are? If you're a soccer player, if you're if you're a, if you're a fighter, my, I have buddies of mine that are MMA fighters who just let go of their uh, particular trainer, their strength and conditioning coach, because he was having them train like a bodybuilder. He kept telling them, "I want you guys to add on more size. I want you guys to to uh, be a, a little bit stronger." He's like, "Well, why are you not working with us on uh, you know straight uh, power exercises and you know dropping our rep range down?" And, I mean, he's giving them high reps and they're leaving at the gym with amazing pumps, but being slower in training and in their in their and their coach is looking like man what's going on what's happening in your training is changing well because their strength and conditioning coach was changing them into bodybuilders because he wants them to have a certain look in the ring to be intimidating and being a fighter is not about looking intimidating it's about beating the crap out of somebody and being intimidated by when you lay them hands and those kicks on them in the MMA ring and putting them against the cage and tapping them out on the mat and if you don't have that you're not going to win so in order to be successful in your sport, you've got to get away with the old stuff. So out with the old, in with the new. If you're a professional fighter, why would you be in 25-hour fitness working out and on the bench press, hitting the weights all the time? It doesn't make sense, man. You need to be in the gym with other fellow fighters in their training and working on your craft. And if you can get around some pros, that's even better. If you want to be a pro bodybuilder one day, why would you never be around a gym where pros are? If you want to be a professional soccer player, why would you not go train when those guys are? Professional baseball player. It should be no way that you want to be a professional baseball player player and you're you're working out with me all the time man like hey, listen man focus on your particular goals if your goal is to look good then just go in the gym and you can do everything you can do crossfit one day you can do bodybuilding workout sometime powerlifting workout sometime you can go and run on a track run stairs whatever you want to do jumps you know play basketball whatever you want to do if that's your ultimate goal to to look good but don't come to me as a trainer and say kelly help me coach me Tell me I want to help me get to a certain level. I want to pick up 20 pounds. And then when I see you in the gym, you're on the basketball court. No, it ain't going to happen like that, buddy. Let's cut back on some of this and let me start incorporating some of the things I know so I can help you put on some mass and some size. And the first thing I want to have you do is stop running them three miles a day. Okay, because <laughs> it's not going to happen if you want to put on some major weight. Yeah, you might have to do some walking days on the treadmill, which could be very boring. But at the same time, we're doing concentrated cardio because we're concentrating on burning fat and not losing muscle. And that's what out with the old, in with the new is. It's focusing on your particular goals and cutting out the rest of the crap that you used to do. Just, I mean, it's got to come to a certain point in time in your life that you buckle down and focus and say, this is what I'm going to focus on. That's why I don't jump in a whole bunch of network marketing things like that and other 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 things that people can say I can make all these millions of dollars of and streams of incomes. I got KRB Fitness, the empire. I got KRB Apparel. Everything is falling under this umbrella. And if it's not connected directly to the vision that I already have set out for my life and the purpose that I know God has for me, and that's with my business and in fitness, if it doesn't play with that, if it's not me printing some t-shirts and pushing my clothing line or me training somebody or me motivating through somebody through fitness videos, that I'm not going to be part of it, dude. I don't care how much money you guys make. You can make a million dollars a year. That's not for me. 
because that's not particularly what I need to be doing to achieve my goals. And yes, I want to make a lot of money in the future, doesn't everybody? But if you start to do too many things, you got too many eggs in one basket, and you can't eat nothing but one at a time. You may be able to stuff a couple in your mouth at a time, but at the end of the day, you can only eat one egg at a time, meaning you can only take on one thing at a time. So if you want to be a bodybuilder, focus on bodybuilding. I, I have plenty of friends that, uh, you know, that, uh, that are fighters too, and they say eventually when they stop fighting, they want to do a competition and compete in physique or bodybuilding. But right now, they're not going to start training like that. They're going to keep focus on fighting and the same thing with me. Uh, when I retire from bodybuilding, if I still got a lot, a lot of juice in my body, man, I might do a triathlon or run a marathon or, you know, start getting into those kind of workouts or something like that. But right now, I'm not worried about that, man. I'm worried about becoming big, stank, nasty, Kelly Burt, and getting as big as possible, trying to get up to 300 pounds. And so I know my goals and what they are, and nothing's going to deter me from that. Out with the old, I'm not going to bring in those old workouts anymore because I already graduated from that, and I'm never going back to that until I achieve this particular goal because I want nothing to stop me from achieving this goal. So stop letting people talk you out of your game, man, and stop letting people try to redirect you from your goals and try to bring in all this other stuff. And if it's you that are doing it to yourself, move yourself out of the way and say self-focus on the goals that we have as set and forth. And forth. If you wanted to be a... Uh, physique competitor, you need to start uh, training like a physique competitor, man. I mean, you don't even, some of the workouts I see some physique guys doing, I'm like, come on, bro. I mean, you still need to train like us. I mean, it's really no different. You know, you might not need some of the, um, you know, heavy, the heavy, heavy weight, but I mean, you can still move heavy weight at the same time, too. You just don't need to put on as much size. And some of the physique guys are getting pretty big now, too. So just train like a bodybuilder, man, and get in there and go hard and step on stage and look good. You know what I mean? Tighten that waist up. Anyways. Enough said about that. So I hope that helps you guys that are confused out there about your goals and trying to incorporate all the rest of this crap and this tornado effect that's going around and you're just spinning your wheels and not getting anywhere to achieve your goals and you're the reason why, okay? Yeah. Kelly Burt, KRB Fitness. Remember to shop my tees at krbapparel.bigcartel.com and I'll holler at you. Bwah! Oh. Uh -huh.